Fortnite. Yeah, actually, it wasn't. Oh. Looking to punish, though. Probably also hoping for a courier to be coming through, right? He's going to enchant him. And Nisha needs to connect over on the torrent. And he'll ensure it with the... Uh, I think he's going to get it. Uh, I, I think. Yep. Lines him up for the tiebringer. Level two. And now the TP from... GH on top. Leap forward with a starfall. Nisha losing so much life. But he's got seven one shards available. GH. Oh, he's going deep. Oh, he needs away. Wait, can he actually try and dodge that damage? Either way, Remnant from Yamsa will now arrive and punish this very heavily diving Nygma dual offlane. I know there's something up here. Oh, 300 yep. HP. I ah, couldn't mess up the combination. But he's got leap number one. There's no leap number two. Got oh, Nisha there. looking for the free pick down bottom. There's one point in the counter spell. Oh, and there's also no chaotic offering here. So whoever gets X should be dead. Well, Tarn's coming in. Boat's also arriving. Animage needs a little extra help. And uh, can he? No, we can't. A1 charges were there. That would have given enough life. Kuro. Zai swapping over. He doesn't have magic missile. He just wants to close the distance yeah. and look for Koro. Yeah, he's losing over one season. <laughs> There's your secondary swap. Into the turret. And not much Koro can do about that. But maybe there's some rebuttal. Sneesha gets a double kill on bottom. But Puppy, he is trying to run away from both GH as well as we are. Jump to the other side of the leap. But they'll chase him through the trees. And there is very little Puppy can do about this. Wait, uh, look at the tower. You'll die to the tower. Weeha. Zai gonna swap him. Kuro is nearby. Zai lends the magic missile. Yamso is nearby as well with his level 6. They're gonna upheaval as quick as they can as Batrider. Weeha just does not have the sustain. He's a boot sage and windlace. That's uh, that's all. There is not a lot in that Batrider to protect. And now Kanka will also look for his own opportunity. Kuro trying to hang around. The turret is going to connect into the magic missile with Wave of Terror. But Tumble will arrive. Yep, so we'll make sure he's going to stay where he is. In fact, the Rem never even gets to trigger. Urkel is getting space to get to his Battle Fury. And I always get concerned about like a farming anti-mage. Weeha going for the fight in mid. But three years are already there. You've got Beastmaster coming in through the rear, but all he can hunt right now is Couriers. And he will kill off Nietzsche's one and deliver. Yeah, oh, I like I like the um, the surprising stats, uh, the surprising um, facts. Like, did you know? <laughs> did you know the puppy has been chased down? Raw? Nope. X mark spot. Mind control is now going to be the one initiate. He's got his Necrobooks down. Let's the Raw offer on Zai, but that won't help you. The arrow only even hits. Now they're going to hunt GH. Nope. Leaps down, rendered from Yapsaw, hit him! And then Yapsaw can just actual step down, GH will leap up, and then Jack back down again, thanks to X-Mice, got one more leaping in. Oh, the Lasso is doing its thing underneath the tier one tower, Ventral Spirit will die, they uh, started chasing the Marana. They're even making sure the VS is totally it's down. Albert. Uh, top and then lane. when they actually bring in uh, Miracle, they're looking to just uh, make sure that he's not going to have a chance to actually output his damage with the help of that disarm. Wow, we be careful. At least Zai is actually really close to death because he keeps getting Sticky Napalmed up, but the Firefly will wear off. Sticky Napalm him again? Nope, not going to do it. He's going to reveal his position if he uh, really sticks with this. I think he's just here to die. He was uh, looking Locked. around, <laughs> dropped the GG tree. But he was, uh, he was covering for Miracle. Well, Miracle. But the top, top, top lane, that's cool. Flame breaking back into the last zone, but they don't have extra control. Kuro's waiting with the upheaval. Matumba's got no movement speed. Now, ship, torrent, combo, everything. Nietzsche's just got to try and keep Matumba alive. He's so low on life, but finally they bring him down. Nietzsche's TP out. Anyone got a stun? Anyone? No. Nope. I guess you just try to kill off the Vengeful Spirit instead. And Zai, there goes number one. Miracle committing with the Mana Void to get it. And we are still trying to run from this Vengeful Spirit. The arrow will stop the Spirit. You get 20 only for that? Oh, that doesn't oh, feel wait. worth. Is he TPing home? Oh, I wonder. Did he know? Radiance yeah, so it was lurking there. Does take down the uh, the courier there. That was... Oh my god. Was that actually the end of the Battle Fury? It was. It was the end of the Battle Fury. He actually delays the Battle Fury for another... Like, it's got another 2 minutes and 10 on the clock. Uh, and it's not even like... Uh, doesn't look like there's any chance to contest, though. <laughs> Necros out of the bottom. They would need those, too. Oh. I have I have an answer about the stats, by the way. Um, oh, shout out to Knoxville, excellent. who's currently tuning in, saying it hasn't been since TI6. Yeah. Send the Necro, send your Hawks, send everything else you've got, and uh, all the farm they get from it as well. BKB from Batrider will have to be committed if he yeah. wants to try and survive. Yep, so quickly Astral steps away. A team secret. Really hoping for initiation, but that's a 10-second BKB for Batrider being revealed. 
The outpost can continue to switch hands as well as everyone gets to switch lanes. Now this top you, looks... courier is now back. And he's gonna have that Manta. Oh, they're coming. And they're going to be into that Basher soon. And he did finish the Shadow Blade on Nisha. So there's, there is a big spike that hasn't really been played out into Enigma quite yet. Oh. It is time to Moonlight Shadow and get the hell out of there. Remnant? Well, the Yapsaw picked the right direction, but GH is just backed up. Now Weeha's in the neighborhood looking for his own target. Yapsaw. The GH almost bait him out. Or oh, who's really the bait? I, I suppose awesome. GH has an arrow, but he's wondering like if he wants to help out the BKB Weeha. The answer will be no. The Hawk flies in to give him all the extra information. That arrow will hit arrow. absolutely. They also keep moving underneath Radiant Vision. In this case, Zai actually battling underneath two Radiant Observers and Sentries. Phantom Lance is now going to move himself over. The Mana Void. Zai, so much damage done to him. Atomic just wants to back out of this one. They've still got the Vengeful Spirit battling for up on the hill. Now Kung goes rum. Nisha tries to create some extra space, but Kuro, Fatal Bonds is now out on Matumba as well as Nisha. The focus on Matumba is the primary target. Miracle would love to get himself a kill, and he will be able to get it on the big one. Someone's got to take care of that VS if you want supports to live. But I suppose you can just keep hunting other kills if you want them. Yeah, the Absol gets seven. back to the tier two tower. Play around the remnant miracle. I love the blink to the bottom side of the tower, knowing Yapsol's gonna have that spirit position. Arrows fly forward. Yapsol's got one more step, and he's going backwards. But Miracle can keep up with him. Always with a blink of Valm. We'll dissimilate. Back up into the trees we go. Just being a nuisance. GH will finally put him down. I can't believe Kuro has actually managed to live for so long. He's got extra help. The Moonlight Shadow beats underneath the Sentry Ward. They have to roar to control up Puppy so he doesn't kill off Kuro. Nisha wants his own, or Zai wants his own fight. He's TP'd himself in, let off the dust, but Enchantress flame breaked back, just forever being controlled. Puppy wants out, but the only out is death. Mass. He, he won the big battle of the items, right? They both were coming into this one fairly even in terms of power spikes. Uh, a little bit different in terms of how they operate during a team fight. Miracle can have that big moment potentially with the, the mana void, whereas the PL just needs like a slight edge, and he becomes this like crippling, just festering illusion boss that runs over your whole team. But obviously the, the jump was all Nigmas, and now they're reaping the rewards. And another jump. Star. Ooh, trying to clip him, but the VS swap's already there. Flame Break almost pushing Zai up on the hill as well. The BKB con combination against Weeha not going to work. Thanks for me, Gizzy. Matamba, Fatal Bonds. Oh god, they're all linked up again. They've got to be so careful. At least Yabsaw can get out of it with the Yule. Set for can't say the same about everybody else. But maybe Yabsaw can do something. Yes, he does. He jumps in the back line to kill off GH. But the bigger problem is Miracle. Gets the basher over on Puppy. It's a little slow on the attack. We'll find to get, get rid of Puppy's minions. He'll jump in to find Nisha. Weeha sticking with him. No mana void available, but they've got the damage, especially when they get the bash underneath the tier 3 towers. Weeha actually burns him with the Firefly. That didn't feel like it should have been his kill. Yapsaw, where's he going? He actually tries to bait with the Remnant to the north and jumping south. Another quick actual set, but Miracle blinks in. First hit, Bash. Finding yet another kill, but Zai does end the spree with the, uh, with the Vengeful Spirit. 31 minutes in. The They're closest to him is 18. Right it's going to easily be numerous heroes going down. Roll. Not nah, just blink in Abyssal Blade. They want to remove Zai, and they're able to do so very, very liberal with the ultimate. But they blink forward. Lesson. He wants a big target. <laughs> he got him. He got the Kunker. Pull him back in again. Look for the Bastards. The Rock and Fatal Bonds. Team Secret are connected. All three heroes together. Puppy wants a TP out, but no clumsiness there to stop that from Weeha. And a couple of illusions from PL are trying to stop this. Unbelievable momentum from Nigma, but they're not really helping out that much. They're coming high ground. Oh, they did such a good job playing around that first Aegis. I, uh, I am very impressed. They just completely dodged Secret and kept this game going. Very impressive. Sure, they threw a couple bodies on the lanes to keep Miracle farming, but mm -hmm. that was a seriously impressive feat from Nigma. Oh, they're going to take top, top racks. Yapsaw doesn't have a TP to go home. Matumba was distracted trying to kill off Weeha, but Weeha was even able to force off and get his Blink Dagger off cooldown and get away to safety. The only thing that's really stopping him is uh, more, more kills. Yapsaw, dissimilate. <laughs> Bye. They who live by the wall. Full Butterfly on him. Asakura. Why? Yeah, they're ready to push. 
smoke it up, look for a target, blink a pistol blade. Yep, Soros deleted. 52 seconds without buyback available. Ninja starts his TP in and we have look how quickly did he move, but he wants the other one. He wants Zai. Pull him back over the arrow. Ill also connect with the upheaval and another fatal bonds. A quick doppelganger will allow at least Matoman to escape, but you can't say the same thing about Puppy. Out of mana, out of life, and out of luck in game two. It looks like Nigma have this one very firmly shoved into the bag. GG. Very good traffic from Nigma. I wouldn't necessarily call it like a, a big out draft or something. The second one, I mean, sure, maybe the Meepo was uh, a bit difficult to, to swallow after the draft, but uh, mm -hmm. giving Miracle one of it.